Does this team really need a broke back mountain version of a psychiatrist? This guy doesn't even have a, a degree in what he does. He's only there to comfort these Yankees when they lose. Like I said in my previous video, Jeff Passan put out a tweet after the Yankees snapped their 13-game uh, winning streak. A whole bunch of Yankees fans were mad. But guess what? He was right. This is what he said. He said the Yankees do have flaws. During the streak, they still struck out 26.7% of their plate appearances. They had a 3.80 FIP, a super low batting average, and a super high strand rate. None of those three are great, but wins are wins. And 13 in a row puts them in an excellent position for October. This was posted August 28th. Guess what? Fast forward now. Oops, that doesn't put the Yankees in an excellent position for October because they are still repeating the same nonsense. So now, here we are. A seven-game losing streak. Is anybody getting fired? Does how in the front office, Brian Cashman, know that this team has sucked all season? Besides that 13-game winning streak? Even though Jeff Passan pointed out that, wow, with these numbers, the Yankees still won 13 games? That's kind of lucky. There's no anger coming from Aaron Boone in his post-game interviews. Because, like I said before, he's probably going home to his lavish uh, midtown apartment. I don't know where that guy lives, but I'm pretty sure he lives lavishly. Imagine being a loser and having your personal butler at home. I'm pretty sure he has one. So, Yankees front office, you see how inconsistent this team is. They play weak because they have a weak manager. All you have to do is listen to this guy's post-game interviews. He is a wannabe psychiatrist. Heck, there's a whole bunch of real ones out there. Like I said, this guy doesn't even have a degree to be one. This is basically his job. Making stupid decisions and having a positive outlook when something goes wrong, when the Yankees lose, when he puts Andrew Heaney out there. Oh, yeah, I like how he still looks. He's only getting hurt by the home run ball. What is going on here? Was he hired to pamper and be the cheerleader for crybabies in the clubhouse? Was that the reason why Joe Girardi got fired? Because in certain situations, you saw that uh, play at the plate with Gary Sanchez tagging uh, the guy at home plate over his helmet, which was a lazy play, by the way. Joe Girardi would have just destroyed Gary Sanchez for that. Did Aaron Boone, did he do that? Uh, no. He's going to give him a pat in the butt, and he's going to tell Gary, Hey, Gary. It's all right. You see those rainbows in the sky? You're muy bueno, Gary. And this is why Tony Pena was let go from the New York Yankees because he had the same mindset of Joe Girardi. He would have told you off, boy. But look at those rainbows. They're so peaceful. That's who we have managing the Yankees. Basically, Mr. Rogers. Mr. Boone. Mr. Bone Knee Head. Cashman, if the Yankees miss the playoffs, your move for Andrew Heaney basically cost the 2021 Yankees a chance at maybe winning a World Series. But really, everybody knows that's not going to happen. We're not going to win a championship with Boone being the manager. So, how could you, let's say, salvage this season? How could you possibly go far into the playoffs? How could you possibly even get a wild card spot? You fire Boone now. You fire one of these coaches. You send a signal to the clubhouse and say, 
nobody's job is safe. You guys want to return next season? You guys want to live a lavish lifestyle with the best goddamn views in the world? Midtown Manhattan, by the way, has some amazing views, especially uh, near Central Park. You better win now because Booney is not here to comfort you. Booney is not here to show you rainbows. Booney is not here anymore. He is not your manager. You guys better win or else my decision for training for Andrew Heaney is probably going to cost me my job too. Because I look like a bonehead. I look like a bald cockatoo. Heck, Aaron Boone is already managing to get fired. Maybe he has a job lined up with ESPN again. That's how he's managing. Fire him now. While you still have the chance. While that second wild card spot, or even first, for home field advantage is up for grabs still. Seven games. Seven games, a seven-game losing streak in, in September for crying out loud. And you guys are hunting for a playoff spot. You know what would bring me great joy to my face? If you could see me smiling right now. If you fire Aaron Boone before the season is over with. Heck, let's say you don't fire Aaron Boone. At least fire Marcus Thames. Have you seen these guys' batting averages? Have you seen how they don't score runs? Have you seen how every Yankee on his team suddenly can't hit for <laughs> But no, Hal Steinbrenner signed that Amazon Prime contract, so he's good. He's good financially for this uh, season. You think they're going to come back for more? With Aaron Boone, the fake psychiatrist managing this team? Giving uh, Gary Sanchez pets on the uh, butt for lazy plays. Yeah, good luck uh, finding uh, revenue from uh, serious uh, companies like that. With a lousy team that everybody knows is not going to win a World Series. They're just watching a watch and giving uh, fans fake hope. Fire Aaron Boone now. I'm going to say this right now. The Yankees missed the playoffs. It's Brian Cashman who the fans are going to attack in droves, and they're going to demand that Hal Steinbrenner fire Brian Cashman because we all know how many games Andrew Heaney has cost this ball club. And we know every deadline, Brian Cashman's Achilles heel is not obtaining that real ace or potential ace that's going to help this ball club reach or win the World Series. Always happens. It's a broken record. So, hey, maybe the Yankees do really need to miss the playoffs. Maybe they're, the Yankees are hoping they reach the playoffs for a one-game series and maybe lose, but it's not going to be as worse as not making the playoffs, and they could just uh, rub it off a little bit. But maybe they do need this wake-up call, and Brian Cashman's name is going to pop up more than Aaron Boone because Aaron Boone is out of here. And Brian Cashman might be following suit. There's no excuse. Your payroll is one of the highest uh, in Major League Baseball. Do you think the L.A. Dodgers would keep their manager if he was performing like Aaron Boone and consistent? This team looking weak because they have a weak manager. At least uh, Dave Roberts. At least uh, he shows fire and you know he, don't, he doesn't play around. Aaron Boone. This guy looks like he swallowed LSD, and he's the happiest guy ever. He looks like Mr. Burns in that Simpsons episode when uh, they thought he was an alien or something. That's who Aaron Boone is. So, Yankees fans, like always, what do you think about these losers? Leave your opinions in the comment section below, and like always, this has been Felix from MYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.